Hey guys, just wanted to take a moment to thank you so much for helping us hit 400,000 subscribers. I'm so happy with the community we're building and your support means the world to me. Thank you so much. Now, let's get into the video. So, you have a feeling that your viewers leave the video way too soon. This results in the algorithm not really liking your videos. Now, don't worry, I'm gonna tell you my secrets to make sure the viewer stays interested. Number one, using music to create a roller coaster effect. This one is so underrated, which is why I'm telling you this one first. Don't just add a bunch of chill elevator songs underneath your videos. I mean, we're all guilty of that. Instead, find music with different genres. For example, start your video with an energetic song to set the mood. Then go do something calmer. After that, you can maybe use a playful song. Keep doing that and you'll see your viewers' retention going up. Of course, make sure the music fits your video. You don't want a happy song underneath a funeral. Unless you're making a comedy, and that is called music in contrary, but that's one for another video. Let's get to number two, breaking the pattern. When you're speaking for 10 minutes straight, people can get bored really quick. To prevent that, we can add something funny like a meme or quote every now and then. You funny boy! A great place you can find those is called play phrase. Just type in a sentence you're looking for and there you go. That's kind of cool, huh? That's kind of cool. Now, to give it more of a meme feeling, I always duplicate the clip by holding down Alt and then dragging it one track up. Then select the duplicate and head over to the effect controls. Now, scale it down just a little bit. Back in the timeline, select the bottom clip and go to the effects library. Find the Gaussian blur effect and drag it on the selected clip. Now, go back to the effect controls and increase the blurriness. There you go. It refreshes the viewer's brain and yeah, it kind of breaks the pattern. Speaking of breaking patterns, effect number three, enhancing silly words or moments by using a sub zoom effect. To do that, all you need to do is select your clip in the timeline. Then in the effect controls, set a scale and position keyframe. Now grab the play at and move a few frames further in time. Increase the scale and reposition yourself in the middle of your screen. Next, we're gonna make the zoom smoother. And to do that, select the first keyframes and right click them. Choose ease out. Now select the second keyframes and choose ease in for this one. That will make the animation smooth. That looks awesome. Oh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Number four, enhancing the sound quality of your voice. To do that, find the parametric equalizer in the effects library. Then drag it on your audio clip. Now go to the effects controls and here you'll find the effect. Click on edit to open it up. And here you can see the entire frequency spectrum that us humans can hear from low to mid to high. Awesome, now we're gonna create the logo's outline. Now, to enhance the audio, open up the preset menu. Click on Vocal Enhancer. This will remove the rumbling frequencies on the low end. They usually add a muddy tone to your voice. The highs will be boosted to add some clarity to your speech. Now, it's really important to tweak these bands to your voice. If you go up, you will boost certain frequencies, and by going down, you will cut them out. Awesome, now we're gonna create the logo's outline. That is so much better. Trick number five, use text animations in between to start a new chapter, just like I'm doing here. This gives the viewer structure and a constant feeling of refreshment. You can create these text animations yourself, but if you wanna focus more on editing, simply download them using the Storyblocks plugin. You don't need to leave Premiere, and when it's done downloading, it will be installed inside Premiere. To find it, go to the window menu on top, find Essential Graphics. Once it's open, you'll find the template back in your folder. Now simply drag it inside the timeline like this. Now, with the clip selected, head back to the Essential Graphics panel. Here you can completely adjust it to your liking. There you go. By the way, Storyblocks is sponsoring this video. Thank you. But you can find so much more than just templates. For example, stock videos, from beautiful nature videos to so many animals, even food clips. You will find anything you need. And you can download an unlimited amount of them in HD and 4K resolution. High quality music and sound effects are also accessible from within the plugin. And there's no need to worry about copyright issues or anything like that. And you can actually download videos that we shot for you guys. Most of them are in a lock color profile, which gives you so much flexibility when color grading. Now, on other stock websites, you need to pay for every every clip that you download. But on Storyblocks, you just pay one monthly fee. I'm sure that any creator will benefit from Storyblocks. So take back creative control with Storyblocks unlimited royalty-free stock library and tools today by going to storyblocks.com forward slash Premier Basics or just Click the link down below. Number six, hiding unwanted jump cuts. This can be really annoying to watch. You saw that? That's because I've cut away a breath and now you can see the first shot jumping to the second one. There are two ways you can fix this. The first one, simply scale up one of the clips so that it looks like these are two different shots. And that is much more pleasant to watch. Another way you can hide an unwanted jump cut is by adding B-roll on top of the cuts. When you're talking about ice cream, for example, throw some B-roll shots of ice cream on top of your videos. That way you don't need to worry about the jump cuts and I mean who doesn't like ice cream? Number seven, J-cuts. This is a really cool editing trick that makes transitions 
transitions between clips so much smoother. Look at this clip where I'm talking about ice cream again. As you can see, the ice cream clip starts at the exact same time when I'm speaking. To create a J cut, simply trim the ice cream clip to the right. Then extend the first clip until it snaps against the second one. Now you can see me speaking a little longer before transitioning to the ice cream clip. This is incredible. It doesn't matter what kind, vanilla, strawberry, anything. Awesome, but now it's time for number eight. Using After Effects animations to enhance your story. Imagine you're talking about changing the contrast in a video. Then it's really cool to add an animation like this. To do that, you need to create a linked composition. This is basically an After Effects comp that's sitting inside the timeline of Premiere. This clip is constantly in sync with After Effects. You can basically use any clip as a linked comp. Simply right click it and choose replace with After Effects composition. After Effects will then open up and here you can see the clip from Premiere. Now you can add animations or whatever you like. Everything you do in here will be visible in Premiere as long as you save it. Now, if you're familiar with linked comps, they can be slow. Well, to fix that, right click the linked comp and choose render and replace. This will turn the comp into a video file so that the playback will be extremely fast. Number nine using text pop-ups to grab attention. To do this, move the player to a moment where you want a text to appear. Then go to the toolbar and select the text tool. Head back to the program monitor and click somewhere. Type in the word you're saying. And when you're done, hit escape on your keyboard. Now hit V on your keyboard to choose the selection tool. That way we can rescale and reposition the text layer. Oh, and if you hold down control, you can actually snap the text to the middle of the frame. Awesome, right? Trick number 10, leveling up your branding by using a logo animation. You can actually learn everything about that in the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay creative.